me something. Have you ever intentionally sat down and tried to test your intuitions? No. Have you ever done that? No. Well, playing cards are the perfect tool for testing our intuitions because they are so symbolic. There are court cards, picture cards, and number cards. And there are the four different suits. Each suit means something different. But there are also two colors, red and black, fire and earth. And that's what we're going to try to connect with for your intuition test. So Molly, if you would go ahead and mix those cards. Before I came here to perform tonight, I wrote down two possible outcomes for your intuition test. Now, I'm going to ask you to do something that's a little unusual to do in public, but not embarrassing. Okay. Take your right hand and hold it over each of these outcomes and try to get an intuitive feeling about it. When you get a feeling about the outcome that will come to pass, drop your hand on that outcome. That one feels right to you. Pull it to the side, I'll pull this one off. That one is where we're heading. Now you mix these cards, remember? You mix them. And just give me a second here to get started. And I'm gonna deal a little bit, and at some point, on impulse, you tell me when to stop. But I need a few cards, so. Right there. Hold out your right hand again. Should we keep these cards or get rid of them? What feels right to you? Keep them. Keep them. Decisive. Molly, that right hand hold it over each file and kind of zero in on it. And when you get about a feeling about the pile that should be yours, drop your hand on top of it. And believe me, it's gonna make a difference. That's your pile. Take your cards and spread them out in front of you like so. You've been making intuitive decisions and now you're gonna make a few more. So touch any two of your cards and give them to me. Those two. And now, take one of my cards back to you. And touch two of your, any two of your cards and give them to me. And notice, if the intuition strikes you, it could be, one of them could be the one you just took back, but it, trust your feelings. Take one of my cards back to you. And give me two of your cards. Take one of my cards and give me one more of yours. Now we could keep doing this, but are you satisfied with this switching right there? But. We'll see. <laughs> we could keep going if you like, or you're, you feel good about this spot. I feel good. I feel good. All right. Yeah, I'm here. Good. So think about all the intuitive decisions you made. You decided to keep those cards in play. You decided that that pile should be yours, not this one, and it's going to make a difference. You decided intuitively which cards should be switched, and I was noticing you were very thoughtful about that. But Molly, you did one other thing. You decided. That outcome was the one you wanted, not this one. Now this one reads, Larry will have the same number of black cards as you will have red cards. Let's see the outcome you selected. Larry will have one more black card than you will have red cards. Obviously, these two outcomes are different, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Larry will have one more black card than you will have red cards. So now we get to the moment of truth. We are looking for your red cards. One. Two. Three. Black. Black. Four. Black. Five. So Larry will have one more black card than you will have red cards, so I should have six, exactly. We're looking for my black cards. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Think about this. The odds are not in your favor. They are not. <laughs> if the sum total of all your intuitions are correct, one of these cards, only one of them will be black, and the rest will be red. And they are. You are an intuitive person. Thank you so much.